Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 5th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great weekend, and I'm guessing when you opened up your futures markets today, um, you were um, holding your breath as we continue to fall in uh, markets around the world as this global sell-off intensifies. So we have a pretty ugly situation here for this morning, but the first thing I wanna do is I wanna remind everyone, don't panic. Um, this is not the end of the world. We have seen these kind of major sell-offs many times before, and one of the reasons they occur is because we have been over long and over excited, uh, pushing AI and everything higher here in the market. So just be prepared for quite a bit of volatility, and this will also pass, and there'll be um, some opportunities to take as long as you don't panic. So what how about we take a look at what happened overnight? First off, Asian markets had a horrible day. The Nikkei fell a whopping 12.40 points in Asian markets. Um, the Australian markets fell 3.70%. 3 the um, South Korea market fell 8% and triggered circuit breakers halting trading for a period of time. Um, Hong Kong uh, fell 1.46% and Shanghai down 1.54%. So pretty ugly, ugly day. Um, Nikkei is the worst sell-off since 1987. So uh, buckle up, we've got some bumpy roads ahead. If we take a look at European markets, European markets are also decidedly bearish this morning with the DAX down 2.82%, the FTSE is down 2.48%, and the CAC down 2.46%. So looking pretty bearish over there across the pond. And then if we take a look at U.S. futures, well, they have worsened since I have gotten up this morning. We are currently down 700 169 uh, points in the Dow futures. Um, S&P futures um, are, are down um, 159.75 and NASDAQ futures are down a whopping 852 points or 4.59 percent. Ugly, ugly sell-off here this morning. And honestly, it's not the worst it's been. We've been down more than 800 points in the Dow futures. So, um, let's take a look at what's happening other places um, around the market. The sell-off is also increasing in the oil sector, with oil falling one point uh, a dollar, excuse me, a dollar twenty-five to seventy-two twenty-seven a barrel on oil. Brent falling one point one eight to 75.64 a barrel and natural gas is down another nickel if we take a look at precious metals metals also moving lower now i know a lot of folks are saying now why would that be happening well when you go into a major panic sell-off like this then we start to see things like margin calls triggering. When margin calls triggering in the market, folks are going to be forced to sell some of those things that they have held on to for so long as that safety play. And that's going to be things like gold. Right now, gold futures down over $11.90 an ounce, silver down. Um, almost a dollar, wow. And copper, platinum, and palladium lower with palladium looking down $34 um, an ounce um, here this morning. So palladium really taking out lows here in the market. And then if we take a look at crypto, wow. Uh, BATO um, really falling precipitously here this morning, down $7,940 a coin at the moment. 
and we are red across the board. So you can probably take from that that there is going to be significant panic at the open this morning and a lot of volatility. Now, I know there's folks out there thinking buy the dip, and that's what I'll be thinking as well, but I'm gonna be thinking about this in a very careful way, and I am certainly not gonna be chasing in first thing in the morning. I'm gonna be picking and choosing my trades pretty carefully and realizing that no matter what I do, that there's probably going to be big price whipsaws that will occur as a result as well. So you better be prepared to hang on and hold for a wild ride if you decide to get in. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, what we are seeing this morning is that full-on panic here in the market. Um, obviously, moving sharply lower here on the Dow. And if we take a look at our moving averages, we sliced right through that 50-day moving average here in the pre-market. And we're coming down into these next areas of price support in the chart. So you can see this price support level that was right here, we're pushing right down through that really quickly. There is is a level of price support right through here that could catch us so keep an eye on that and then remember we've got this other little upside trend right here that could kind of come together and maybe catch us in that chart so watch that carefully here on the Dow now if we look on uh, down it's also possible if we start failing through these areas of the chart the 200 day moving average is certainly a possibility now typically we would not sell off straight down into the 200 we'll get some kind of relief rally first but watch that carefully as it's now in the cards so uh, a nasty little double top and any rally back would be a reason to be looking short in the market if we take a look at our spy spy brutal sell off here gapping substantially lower probably catching a whole lot of people off guard and um, really putting some pain on them um, overall so if i drag a line down here you'll notice that we're breaking a little bit of this price support in the pre-market but my guess is we might hold right in this area however if that does not hold then you can see that we've got significant downside moves that could continue to come into play here in the market maybe down in here as the next level in that chart so bears are really pushing now any kind of relief back up we'll want to be watching these resistance levels and we certainly can we could bounce really hard um, so watch some of these levels in here for the relief if the bulls or to find inspiration and I'm gonna say the same thing about the diamonds if you take a look at our moving averages here on the spy notice that we are stretching down toward that 200 day moving average I would expect some kind of relief prior to getting to that but that is certainly in the cards here now um, it's one of the problems when we get too excited in the market and we stretch so far away we give everyone the impression that the market's never going to sell off and that's usually when it sells off hard so hopefully you've not been caught in there hopefully you've been heeding the warnings here to be very very careful um, in the, this wild volatility that we've been seeing now if we take a look at our qqq it's having a real rough day as you can see gapping on down if we look at our moving averages this morning we're testing our 200 day moving average in this very precipitous fall um, breaking down through big levels of price support um, if the um, bulls were to find inspiration here today then i think moving back up and possibly even we could bounce back up into some of these areas you know back up to the top side of that candle maybe stretching on up into here just keep in mind 
um, as we do that, we're going to run into these big areas of resistance and potential downtrend. And then if the bears were to find inspiration, well, you can certainly see if we can't hold that 200 day moving average down in here, that's going to be pretty rough um, if we fall on through there coming on down to levels, uh, maybe all the way down into the fours, um, uh, somewhere around 400 um, in the chart is certainly possible. So watch that carefully. And then looking at our IWM, um, IWM um, has been kind of a little bit of a safe haven, but I'll tell you, I don't think there's going to be much of a safe haven here today, except for a relief bounce. Um, I think all sectors of the market could easily be drawn into this selling um, as everyone is kind of running for the door trying to protect themselves. Um, big gap down um, breaking through our upside trend here as you can see in the chart. So any rally back, watch for these levels up in here to see if we can come up and test some of those resistance and that uh, trend break. If um, we continue to see selling here, well, you can see we're breaking, um, uh, potentially breaking a little support right through here on the day and that possibility, remember this old green line in here, this is that line that we, it's actually a trend line and we've been bouncing around above and below it. Well, um, I think there's a chance we could test that um, if those bears continue to push here in the chart. And then we're gonna start looking even lower if um, they fall through those levels. If we take a look at our moving averages, looks like we've got a test of the 200 day moving average all at once here um, coming in the market as this panic picks up. Now, if we take a look at some of our internals, our VIX is going to be insane today. Um, right at the open, we can expect um, the VIX to open sharply higher. You can see we, um, on Friday, um, saw a lot of fear coming into the market, but it did pull back a bit. I'm guessing we're going to top out up here above this this morning at the open. In fact, we could easily pop up in here, open up in the 30s and maybe even as high as the 40s. So what that means is for all of you option traders, all option prices are going to be dramatically higher for the extrinsic value due to the implied volatility change. You're also going to see bid ass spreads widen out. Be really careful with knee jerk reaction trades because those bid ass spreads could get very wide as market makers themselves trying to protect themselves in this volatility. Then let's take a look at our T20s. One of the good news items in here is T2122 will be reaching a bullish um, reversal zone. We will be in an oversold condition this morning and we'll want to be watching for that potential of the bounce. It kind of all depends on whether or not the volatility is going to allow any kind of trading to really be done to the long side for buying the dip without taking massive risk. And just keep in mind when we move like this in the market, we could whipsaw hundreds of points. So you've got to have you've got to have some real commitment to a trade to just, you know, the buy the dip mentality because we could still cont continue to see this lowering down because of the what we're seeing in global markets around the world if this could could continue to extend. So let's take a look. This would be our biggest hope of a relief rally here today. Some kind of a bounce, um, taking some of that um, pressure off of the market here temporarily. If we take a look at our T2108, well, our T2108 pushed on down here on Friday pretty hard um, in, whoops, T2108 pretty hard, but um, we ended up uh, finishing the day up below 50%. So that is a bit of a worry. And this morning, I'm guessing with this big gap down, we're going to be significantly lower. It wouldn't surprise me if we're down here in the 30s on this. A lot of stocks um, will be dropping well below their 40-day moving averages this morning. 
all in one fell swoop so there's going to be some panic and you could probably see a lot of forced selling here in the market because what we'll probably get into is we're going to hit some circ not circuit breakers but we're going to hit some um, pressure points in the market where folks are going to be forced to sell to to protect the, themselves and the margin calls that will be coming in um, and if you remember in 2008 um, Warren Buffett said that it's only when the tide goes out when we find out who's been swimming naked. And, um, well, the tide is going out all at once here. And I'm afraid we're going to see there's a lot of folks that have been over trading on margin. And we could see pylon selling as a result of that. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at T2107, T2107 ended up closing just above its 50%. There's your 50%, but I'm guessing this morning will gap or push this down significantly beyond that point. And again, once we get this very strong sell-off right here, I don't want anyone to just run and panic and just, I want you to be very thoughtful about this. When we sell off, um, we want to wait for that selling to ebb There'll be some whipsaws in here, but then be very thoughtful about those timing positions to get maybe some short-term relief rally trades going in the market if you're interested. It's also perfectly okay if you've cashed out to just stand on the sideline, watch this parade go by because it is likely going to be a very volatile parade. So be very very careful here in this market and remember it's okay to stand aside and then if we take a look at our t2101 well i'm guessing um i don't know this we saw a little bit of pushback up here on that selling on friday a little bear breath coming into the market my guess that's going to change significantly this morning and really push on higher so yeah, be careful. I'm guessing the CTAs are going to be in the heavy sell mode here um, as these trends kind of turn negative really quickly. So uh, buckle up. It could be a rough uh, period of time here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and if there's good news here in the market today well it's that we don't have a whole lot to go on here in those economic numbers as you can see pretty light week overall we've got pmi composite final and an ism services number here we've got some bond auctions and then we've got Fed speakers that were past that FOMC, so Fed speakers will be starting to come back out on their their tour um, around the world in conversations. On Tuesday, international trading goods is about all we have in there, except some bond auctions. We've got mortgage applications and a petroleum status. There's a consumer credit number in there and a 10-year bond auction, but boy not much there on wednesday same thing on thursday except our normal jobless applications we've got um wholesale or uh, inventories that'll be in air a natural gas report bond auctions in the fed balance sheet and on friday baker Hughes word rig count not much in there now i would expect to see a bit more of uh, Fed speakers really starting to populate this calendar as we move through the week. So kind of keep that in mind. There may be some changes here to the calendar. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today. Now our earnings calendar is busy today, but not nearly as busy as it was um, late last week but it's going to ramp up. We've got a huge number of earnings coming uh, throughout this week. And remember, we've got about half of our companies now starting to come out from under their blackout period. So perhaps we'll start to see some corporate buybacks after these big sell-offs occur in the market. They may let that settle for a little bit and you might see some corporate buybacks coming in and that would help 
also in providing a bit of a relief rally. Um, looking at those earnings uh, today, there's no way I can cover them all. Um, so remember guys, make sure to click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. But we're gonna hear from things like AMR this morning. We're gonna hear from um, CG. We've got um, THS that's reporting today and uh, Tyson reporting this morning. Looks like that's showing bullishness. So there are bulls, um, uh, bullish places here in the market. And a lot of those are those consumer defensive areas um, here in the market, um, uh, those old consumer staples. So watch that carefully. Um, let's take a look this afternoon. We've got a few charts like uh, CAR that will be reporting. Um, HIMS will be in there. We've got uh, KMPR um, that's in there. Um, PLTR will be reporting um, YUMC is in there and um, so there's a few that will be reporting this afternoon um, there's a bigger list of those this afternoon but none of those that are just likely going to move the market um, dramatically so kind of keep that in mind so what does all that mean for today well I think we're looking for a bumpy day. I think we're looking for a lot of volatility. I think we're looking at a lot of uncertainty in the market. We're likely to run the scope of human emotion with a lot of panic. Um, fear will be the first thing that comes around. Then we're likely to see something in the realm of hopefulness for a relief rally and that buy the dip mentality in the market. But I would expect some big volatility. So be really, really careful here today. How about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, everyone, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Um, I truly, truly appreciate that. Remember, um, I always appreciate if you share these videos on your social media feed. And thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video thank you very very much let's take a look at some of these charts that could be setting up and remember guys boy um, it could be rough today even in some of those areas of defense what i would really recommend that you start looking at is some of the inverse etfs psq now i wouldn't chase this here PSQ is just a, and of course you can use doubles and triples, but with the volatility that we're likely to see here, those big volatility numbers, I would really highly recommend you stay with something not heavily leveraged um, in the market because those options are going to be really tough to trade with very high implied in vol volatility in them. Um, so wait for a rest or pullback in here for the next op opportunity to the upside. DOG might be something to be paying attention to. You'll want to be paying close attention to things like RWM for the Russell and something like SH for the S&P 500, but all of those are gonna need some kind of rest or pullback at this point to be looking at those. You could also be taking a look at, um, well, picking up some short trades. Um, when we look at our financials, a big sell-off here in our financials, any rally back up into resistance, I'd be looking for an opportunity to potentially uh, pick up some trades in there. There's going to be some long opportunities. We're getting um, potential gap up this morning in um, TLT. As you guys know, I've been talking about TLT. Big uh, gap this morning to the upside as we continue to see uh, those bond yields 
falling here in the market. So watch that closely. You could look at uh, BND um, um, as well. Uh, JNK might be a possibility, but when we see these yields moving the way they are, um, obviously this is having a real rough time here on those junk bonds because of that wild volatility here. So be kind of careful. Other places that you could look for potentially some long trades is looking for some of the defensive sector stocks. Now, I've got to imagine these could get sold off here soon, maybe even today, but we're seeing some good strength in Coke and you can see here in the pre-market, it's trying to move up. Stocks like PepsiCo gapping down and pushing right back up here in the pre-market. You could look at the, well, that stock like Tyson, that's reporting this morning showing some bullishness in there. You might um, take a look at um, um, some, well, some things like CPB, Old Campbell Soup, uh, Mondelez might be a place to go. And then of course, you might wanna take a look at some utilities. Now utilities, I gotta tell you, utilities, um, are a safe haven haven initially in a sell-off, but oftentimes you will see these also get heavily sold off eventually if this um, train wreck continues to the downside like this you can see those get drawn down as well so be kind of careful there there are others out there that are doing pretty good like mickey d's even though they had trouble in their earnings it's been a buy ever since um, this EVGO um, has been looking pretty solid, but you can see this morning it's starting to draw down. And I've got to believe there's going to be a lot of drawdown in some of these stocks. IBM's been holding up quite well, but we're going to see some volatility in that um, this morning, I'm suspecting. And of course, things like Lowe's that's been trying to hold and Home Depot, um, they're likely going to get drawn into this selling. You could maybe look into some of the healthcare um, stocks out there. We've been seeing things like BMY trying to hold up and Pfizer, you know, I'm holding Pfizer with a hedge. That's gonna get hurt here today. There's a lot of things that could be moving around and shifting. And what I would really caution you on is just be very, very careful with the volatility because even though we're getting these bullish pre-market bounces here in a lot of these defensive sector stocks, don't rule out the possibility of substantial whipsaws here today as this emotion rings uh, out through the market and that possibility that the CTAs could even pile on and um, bring this selling on down uh, pretty easily. So be careful here on the day. Try not to panic. Remember, the sky's not falling. Um, yes, there may be some losses today in your account, but try not to do just this massive panic sell um, here and be in the market because that could make things worse if you sell off immediately and then we do catch a relief rally here in the market so just try to take a breath try to focus in on your charts try to focus in on your trading plan your trading rules yes you may have to do some selling to protect yourself I would be really careful with the knee-jerk reactions of just jumping back in the hold by the dip mantra just simply because the volatility of this market is going to be pretty extreme and that the possible whips that we could see in there may not be suitable for a lot of folks. So remember that it's okay. It's okay. Shut your computer off. Go do something else today. You do not have to put money at risk today. You can stand aside and let this thing pass and then there'll be better trading available to you. So with that, everyone, I wanna wish you all the very best. I thank you so much for being here today. I hope you got something out of this video, not to panic, and I will see you all bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the very, very best today.